I'm Tom Maloney with Lakeshore Public Radio 89.1 FM. It's Tuesday, August 25th, 2020. Stay tuned for the latest on layoffs in one school district due to the coronavirus. A, wa- a water shortage in St. John has officials asking residents to limit their water usage and a drug bust on the toll road last week that involved celery. But first, a second teenager is dead after being pulled from Lake Michigan last week. Yusuf Salah was among several people pulled from the Portage Lakefront and Riverwalk on Sunday, August 16th. The 18-year-old died Friday, August 21st from his injuries. Five swimmers struggled in the water that day near the Portage Riverwalk. Salo was among four rescued, but 16-year-old Mohamed Obeid remained missing. Obeid's body was recovered the next morning and pronounced dead. The day of the drowning, the National Weather Service issued a swim risk warning due to large waves and strong rip currents. There are now currently nine active cases of coronavirus on the University of Valparaiso grounds. The Times reports that VU officials did not include details about the nine active cases, including if they were students or faculty, and if the cases had been identified to a specific location on campus due to privacy laws. The school city of East Chicago has laid off 90 employees because of a reduction in state funding after moving to virtual learning. The school board unanimously approved the staffing cuts in a special session meeting on Friday night. The Times reports the cuts include 23 janitors, 18 special education paraprofessionals, 16 security services staff, and 13 bus aides. Superintendent Dieta Wright said the layoffs are intended to be temporary while the district uses virtual learning for at least the first nine weeks of the school year. Town officials are asking St. John residents to limit their water usage during what they describe as a severe water shortage. A notice posted to the town's website and Facebook page Monday afternoon asked residents not to water lawns, wash vehicles, fill pools, or engage in other similar high water use activities. St. John residents should limit their usage until further notice, according to the town's website. The Times reports that in response to questions on the town's Facebook page, officials responded that St. John has purchased about 133 million gallons of water from the town of Sherville since June. A Minnesota driver is facing drug dealing charges after he tried to convince police that his drugs were actually celery. A Porter County officer pulled over 30-year-old Sadiq Abdul on the Indiana Toll Road last week after police got a tip that he might have drugs in his vehicle. Police found 18 pounds of cot, an illegal stimulant plant from the Arabian Peninsula, in the trunk. The plant can cause delusions, paranoia, nightmares, hallucinations, and hyperactivity, according to the DEA. Abdullah tried to claim the drug was just, quote, celery to rub on your face, end quote. He now faces a felony count of dealing a controlled substance and a misdemeanor possession of a controlled substance. In sports, the Cubs are going for the series victory against the Detroit Tigers tonight at 6-10 in the Motor City. Chicago was victorious last night, moving their NL Central leading record to 18-10. With last night's loss, the Tigers are now 11-16 in the AL Central. The White Sox are back in action again tonight as they host the Pittsburgh Pirates at 7-10 in a short two-game series. At 17-12, the White Sox are tied for second in the AL Central, while the Pirates are in last place in the NL Central at 7-17. The Sox have won eight of their last 11 games. Looking at your Lakeshore weather forecast tonight, mostly clear skies with a low near 69. Wednesday, sunny, a high near 94. The heat index is high as 97 with wind gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Wednesday night, clear skies and a low near 72. Thursday, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after 1 o'clock, otherwise mostly sunny with a high near 93. Still breezy, though, wind gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Friday, a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, otherwise mostly sunny with a high near 88. Stay tuned, excuse me, rather. This is Lakeshore Public Radio 89.1 FM. I'm Tom Maloney. This has been your midday news update. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share.